right, guys, I'm actually shooting a second vlog today, which is Thursday. So you'll probably see this tomorrow on Friday, but get over it. Let's just pretend it's Friday morning and I've already set up my new computer. Anyway, um, the, the thing that I wanted to say um, when I started shooting my last vlog, which kind of rambled on about who knows what for quite a while. And I also forgot to mention this. Sorry, because my last vlog was a kind of about kitchen stuff and food and getting all set up and organized for the new year. I have had so many of my friends on Instagram and just a lot of my fit influential girls that were, I've always heard everybody talking about this. And I'm like, what? Doesn't it just sound funny? Nutritional yeast? I'm like, what? But everyone's like, oh, make the best stuff. So um, I will put some of this stuff that I will obviously get recipes from these girls uh, on my blog, but apparently this is very good and it has a cheesy taste from what I hear to put on, a lot of people say they put it on popcorn, um, but they also put it on roasted veggies um, and so on and so forth. But you can read about it. It says it provides great taste and nutrition when added to a wide variety of foods and recipes, makes a healthy, delicious seasoning when sparkled on most foods especially not that's not for you most salads vegetables potatoes rice pasta even popcorn cheese like flavor so i'm exploring the bragg's amino uh oh, sorry uh nutritional yeast seasoning and i'm excited because all those girls are like omg wait till you hear about it now hold on um two people are texting me <laughs> karen i'm so excited for you um one second uh, hold on, I'm shooting my vlog. I will text you slash call you back in a little bit, period. Okay, getting used to Siri. Okay, so, um, what I, when I finish my, sorry, when I finish my workout um, today, which was kickboxing, I realized that I started to make this point in one of my last videos about you know, I kept thinking of that Beyonce song, if you like it, then you should put a ring on it. And I said, in the video, I started to say, if you like it, you should put, or if you hate it, you should put a name on it. And then I didn't explain why. <laughs> why do you need to put a name on something you hate? Here was my point. I'm actually going to make a point, a, a salient point. Oh, that's good. Just kidding. I know you were thinking I was going to start talking about coffee, but I'm not. Um, there's two things that I do to help me push through my workouts and not quit and get the most out of my workouts. And I do, so I kind of, you might think this is really dorky, but it really works. Um, I have found that when, you know, there's, there's, uh, there's people in all of our lives that really get on our nerves for, for whatever reason. It could be ex-husband, ex-boyfriend, your boss, whoever, that really get on your nerves. It could be somebody that just, doubt your your ability again it could be you know somebody you broke up with it could be ex-husband it could be a friend that you're not friends with anymore somebody that gets on your last nerve that you just can't stand okay and you know deep down inside of us this this probably isn't like the reason I should tell you to work out but yeah you know part of part of working out and getting fitter more fit is you know there's a sense of feeling good of like that's great those are my abs you know so there's two, th there's two beings or there's two personalities that I'm always trying to think of that when I'm in this part of my workout where I want to give up and I don't want to push through, I'm, I randomly will think of like two different versions of people. And that's why I was saying, if you like it, if you hate it, then you put a name on it. Whatever move it is that you hate to do, okay? <laughs> Whatever it is that you hate doing, if it's maybe you just hate cardio, okay? Maybe you hate doing chest and triceps like I do. Those are two body parts I don't like to train at all. It just, it doesn't rock my world. I could train back, biceps. Now I'm getting into core again because my stomach's getting flat. Um, I love back biceps. You know I love me some shoulders. We're working on these bad boys. Um, Whew, little sore, little sore still. Um, I love legs, I love glutes, hate chest and triceps, hate it. So I will avoid that like the plague. Now, a lot of people don't like, um, don't like cardio. Whatever it is that you hate, 
in some way, think of the person that you can't stand in your life. Again, I don't care who it is. Maybe it's your boss. Maybe it's your ex-husband. Maybe it's your ex-wife. Maybe it's your ex-best friend. Maybe it's somebody that you just can't stand at the office that gets on your last nerve, okay? That's who you wanna channel when you're, when you're doing something you hate. So if it's chest and you're at that last set, you don't wanna do it, I want you to imagine that person that you can't stand is standing over you and they're waiting for you to give up. They're sitting there with their arms like, she's gonna quit, she's gonna quit, she's totally gonna quit. And then you go, hell no, I'm not gonna quit. Watch this, mother, you know? And then you do like another set or you burn it out, whatever. So you bring out that, if you hate it, Put a name on it. Think of that person. And whenever you're tempted to give up, and trust me, I've actually said these names out loud when I'm alone in my home. I may or may not, I'm not gonna tell you who I bring up, but there's certain people where I'm like, and if I'm doing kickboxing, if I'm playing on an exorcist and I'm punching something, I might say that name while I'm punching the hell out of it. It really is therapeutic. It's it's like cathartic. It's, it's just, let it out, let it out. You know, it's like, doing things you're not allowed to do in real life, beating people up, kicking them, punching them, um, you know, saying things that you can't say, like, you know, think of yourself as Jason Bourne in one of those movies and you're beating somebody into a pulp like you wish you could do in real life. I don't know if I just said that out loud, but I think I did. Anyway, so bring out the bad person. And then on the other hand, um, think about who inspires you. You know, right now there's, there's, <laughs> there's two sets of people. Well, one person, of course, right now, that is inspiring me to push for further is of course my mom because my mom is going through breast chemotherapy for breast cancer right now she does it every is it every three weeks she goes for her next one next Wednesday I think um, and she's having to deal with you know she is somebody who likes to be out and about like me and she has to like lay around and be tired and she's frustrated and so when I start to feel down and I don't want to finish my workout, I think of my mom because I'm like, really? Am I going to sit here and complain that I'm healthy, that I can go to the gym, that I can do cardio, that I have the energy to do this, and I'm not going to not do it? That's crazy. Um, you know, I am about straps. Just... Um, so on the, on the good side, I think of my mom because that will always inspire me to go further. And then on the other hand, so it's like goodness is my mom, but then goodness is also... Um, People that I know in fitness, in my fitness life, whether it's my trainer, um, people that really or people that really inspire me in Fit Valencia, like I imagine them next to me running. I imagine them standing in there working out. I imagine Jay, my first trainer, who's down in Boca and what he would do. Like when he would see me wanting to give up, he'd be like, oh, oh, is that it? Is that it? Is that all you got? That's fine. Let's quit. Let's go home. And he'd say it really loud so that everybody, you know, you would think in your head, oh, everybody in the gym is is watching me. There's something to be said about if you feel like you're being watched by a lot of people, you're gonna push through a little bit more than you would if you were home and you think no one's watching. So if you are working out at home, I want you to start imagining that you have a bunch of people watching you because it will propel you to go further. And I think probably one of the biggest mistakes, I don't wanna say one of the biggest mistakes, but a mistake that many people make, it's something that I've done in the past, if you work out at home, it's very easy to be easy on yourself. It's very easy to go, oh, yeah, I'm tired, I'm not going to do that. You know, and then you don't stretch, and you don't finish up, and you, you don't do everything you're supposed to do. You need to start putting some imaginary things in place so that you feel like you're at the gym and your trainer is not going to let you stop. Or you're out at a, at a public class, and it's, it's out, and you've got people that you know at your office walking by. You know, do you want, to, do you want them to see you giving up? Giving up? and stopping soon? No. Do these stupid dorky things. I'm telling you, it works for me. You might watch this video go, she is out of her mind. Of course, if you watch one of my videos, you probably think that. But it works for me. And I'm just telling you, like when I when I want to give up and I'm, I'm doing, you know, the end of whatever, my kickboxing DVD, and I know that I'm supposed to kick, you know, on this one move, there's three kicks. You're supposed to go low, medium, high. You know, my tendency by the end of the video is to just kick. And I'm like, no, I'm going to pretend that I am like at my own version of the CrossFit games, not CrossFit, but fitness, where there's actually a judge watching me to see if I'm going to go low, medium, high. And I'm competing with somebody I can't stand to see, you know, if I, am I going to go low, medium, high better than she is at the end of the workout? You better damn well bet I'm going to do it. So 
do whatever you have to, but on one hand, think of somebody that gets on your last nerve and when you don't want to do something, you think that they're standing there right next to you and that they are egging you on saying you're going to, you are going to fail, that you're going to give up. I guarantee you, you will push harder. And then on the other hand, think of somebody that inspires you. You know, when I run a lot of times and I want to give up, I think of Dorothy Beale, <laughs> who is one of my ambassadors, and she's on a Saucony commercial and she's badass and she ha I mean, the woman looks like she's 19 years old. I think she has like seven kids or something. She's just amazing. I think of Austin Maliolo, who is one of like the greatest, most inspiring, just people I've met. Um, and I, and I think of him like if he was running with me or, you know, he's CrossFit. I'm not doing CrossFit. I'm doing, you know, my training. But if I was training with him, he would not let me give up. And he would push me and, and, and help me. And he's just a good person. And sometimes I think of just running with him. I'll just think. Or I might, sometimes I think of 50 Cent running with me. I'm not going to lie. Um, because if he was running with me, I'm not going to stop. I'd be like, come on. <laughs> and... Um, Think of whoever you want. Um, think of your trainer, what your trainer would do if your trainer was there. If you haven't worked with a trainer, imagine somebody is your trainer. Imagine somebody's there. Um, I imagine some of my most inspirational people working out with me and am I gonna, if they were there with me, would I quit? Would I give up? No, that's a hell no. So these are just like silly little things that work for me because so much of what people write to me about and I know what so much, uh, the, the big thing tends to be uh, people that we see, people asking about when they're trying to get fit, when they've reached a plateau, they're like, how do you stay motivated? How do you stay motivated? How do you keep yourself doing the stuff time after time again? Accountability and then do, you know, stupid little tricks like that. Make it fun. Do whatever you can that's going to make what you do fun and you'll stick to it. <gasps> We're under 15 minutes, people. This is a bonus. I'll talk to you tomorrow.